Hello guys. Today I will be going in depth about terrain in court. By the end of this video you will be able to create the terrain that you see in this picture. Let's start by going to the terrain tab and selecting create a new terrain. I'm going to do a flat terrain to show off the sculpting tools. I am going to show all the different sculpting tools so you can see what they do. You probably shouldn't try to make it sculpt feet as it seems a bit broken, but let's do skulls. Now let's get to painting. I'm going to do a bit more sculpting to show what it looks like real time with the material. By clicking edit materials you can override the default materials with those of your choice. The top material is for terrain that doesn't have a high slope and the lower material is for terrain that has a higher slope such as cliffs. By clicking on a material you can paint it. The first material is the one that by default covers the whole terrain. You can increase the strength to increase the strength, most of the tools are self-explanatory. Hovering over a tool gives a mini explanation. Now use the foliage generation. You can generate any core model and override the materials for it as well. Distance in between spawns is very important as it determines how often they spawn. This area is where you can override the materials, but unfortunately materials don't work well on bushes. You can edit the min and max scale so that it chooses a random scale in between those two numbers.
There are three align options, to surface, to terrain up, and random align. It depends on what you are generating to choose in between those three. You can disable casting shadows for the foliage to make it more optimized. You can change the slope angle on which the foliage spawns on. You can control what material the foliage spawns on as well. Let's try spawning some balls on the snow. You can also make it so that it spawns on wet surfaces. You can make a surface by using the wetness painting tool. Next to the wetness button is also an erase foliage button. You can use this to remove foliage in places. Let's paint the road. The this also removes some of the foliage in the way as it's a different material that doesn't have any material assigned to it. If you have a very large and complex terrain you can also optimize it so it doesn't kill all of us who have potato PCs. Simplifying voxels takes a long time so I'm going to speed this up. Let's make foliage invisible for a second so we can see what the terrain looks like. It isn't much of a downgrade. Barely noticeable in fact, or maybe I just play way too many games from 2010 that have crap graphics. Okay now let's create the terrain you were promised in the beginning. Select the Rolling Hills template, you can change the seed, and all the other settings, but don't go way too overboard or it will end up whack. going to add terrain material. Now I'm going to add foliage. This is very repetitive and I already went over it earlier so you can just see what foliage I add and what settings I use. This is also speed up one and a half times. This is still kind of slow so you can follow along.
Well that's it, now let's rove around the terrain. I hope that this video helped you learn how to use the terrain and foliage system in core. If you have any questions please comment down below. I also wanted to ask you guys whether you would me to try using my voice in videos. It's not great but people keep asking me to. Please comment if you would like me to, and if the majority does then I will next video. And another quick thing I wanted to say is that I am going away for a week and didn't have time to pre-record a video, so my next video might take a few days longer than usual. Anyways, please like and subscribe and be sure to have a great day and stay safe.